Hi preschoolers, it's Miss Danny, and I'm back with another Zoophonics friend. Today I brought my fiercest friend that I have. His name is Timothy Tiger, and guess what? He is one of the strongest animals in the jungle. Timothy Tiger is here to teach us about the letter T. Let me show it to you. It is t tall, and it makes the sound t. Such a great letter, and it's really fun to remember. So for this letter, I'm gonna need to see your muscles. I need you to put your arms out and flex them really strong. And you're gonna say, Timothy Tiger, letter T says T, T, T. Awesome, wow, you guys look so strong when you do that. So the letter T is a really easy line or letter to make because what lines do you see? Yeah, just straight lines. So if you saw these lines, which ones would you choose? This one? No. This one? Yep. And a little line. Good job. So to make the letter T, I'm going to, of course, start at the t top. Hey, t top. Top stands with it starts with T as well. All right, I start at the top and I go down and then I jump up, frog jump up, and I cross my T. Let's do it again. Start at the top and go down, frog jump up, and cross my T. Let's practice with our magic finger and trace it in the air. Ready? Start at the top, go down, frog jump up, and crossed my T. Awesome. So I asked Timothy, I said, okay, Timothy, it's your chance. You get to show these kids how to remember the letter T. And he said he wanted to read a story. He wanted to, te to teach you a silly song. And he wants to teach you a really fun game that you can use to um, help take turns. Okay? So you ready, Timothy? You hang out here for the story. The story we chose is about Timothy's best friend, Tessa. It's called Tessa Tiger's Temper Tantrum. Oh my goodness. She looks like she's having a hard time. Do you guys ever have a hard time when you feel really sad and really angry and really frustrated? Boy, I bet you there's things that we can do to help with that, to help maybe take some breaths and feel better. All right. Tessa Tiger was not very good at playing sports, but she was not a very good sport. Most of all, Tessa Tiger liked to play t-ball. In fact, all the students in Alpha Betty's class liked to play t-ball after school. They had split their class into two teams. Oh, wow. As I'm reading, I'm noticing so many of these words start with a T. Sometimes Tessa's team won. Then Tessa would throw her hat in the air. She would twist and twirl, and she would hoot and holler. Oh, she looks really excited. Sometimes Tessa team, Tessa's team lost. Then Tessa wouldn't hit her hat against a tree. She would stomp and storm, and once she even stuck out her tongue. Oh, she's not being a very good sport. Stop, Tessa. Don't do that, her team told her. They were becoming more and more upset with Tessa. One afternoon, the t-ball game was especially exciting. The score was tied three to three. <clears throat> there was one more inning. Tessa's team was first to bat, but no one scored a run. Tessa's face looked stormy. Then it was the other team's turn to bat, and their first batter hit a home run. Tessa's team had lost the game. Oh, I know how that feels. It doesn't make me feel happy at all. Tessa Tiger threw her most terrible temper tantrum ever. She tossed her mitt into a tree. She kicked a basket of balls and stubbed her toe. Then she tripped on a bat and fell. Tessa tumbled topsy-turvy to the bottom of the hill, and there she sat, crying buckets of tears. 
Both teams rushed to help Tessa. Are you hurt, they asked. No, screamed Tessa. T-ball is stupid. <gasps> All the kids put their hands over their ears and they tiptoed away. Yikes. Tessa trudged home. She felt terrible. Her mitt was lost. Her shirt was torn. Her toe hurt. And worst of all, she had a temper tantrum tummy ache. Wow, boys and girls, that's not how we act. The next morning, Tessa's team talked with their teacher, Alpha Betty. They told her about Tessa's terrible temper tantrum. Tessa's not a good sport, they said. She takes all the fun out of playing t-ball. We don't want Tessa on our team. <gasps> Tessa's team didn't know that she was just around the corner listening. Alpha Betty sat quietly for a minute. She tapped her toes. She twiddled her thumbs. She thought things over. Then she smiled. I have an idea. Later that day, Alpha Betty made her class their favorite treat, peanut butter on toast. While they ate, she told a funny story. It was about the time she threw a temper tantrum when she was just a little lion cub. I had painted a picture of my twin sister, Alpha Betty told the class. I had painted it on the tablecloth with ketchup. It was a great artistic masterpiece, but my sister washed it out. I was so angry with her. I threw a real fit. Talk about temper tantrums. I tossed around so much. Do you know what happened? She paused. I twisted my own tail into a knot. Wow, that must have been some temper tantrum. All the students gasped, but the thought of Alpha Betty having a temper tantrum was just too funny. The students were tickled. They started to giggle, and they giggled until their tummies hurt, in a good way. Then Alpha Betty asked a question. Do you think temper tantrums are helpful? Tessa blurted out, no. After that, words tumbled out of Tessa's mouth. Temper tantrums hurt your tummy in a bad way, and your friends don't want to play with you anymore ever again in their whole lives. Two big tears trickled down Tessa's face. What can you do instead of losing your temper, Alpha Betty asked. Her students had lots of ideas. Stop and think before you blow up. Try to make games fun for everyone. Always be a good sport, win or lose. Tessa listened quietly, then very softly she spoke. I'm sorry about yesterday. I'll be a better sport from now on. Honest. That's great, Tessa, her friend said. Do you want to play t-ball after school? She smiled. You bet. Tessa Tiger's team lost again that day. Everyone turned to look at Tessa. That, what would she do? Well, what do you think she's going to do? Tessa did not have a temper tantrum. Maybe we'll do better tomorrow, she grinned, and maybe we won't. But win or lose, there will be no knots in our tails. And Tessa started to giggle. And Tessa Tiger and both teams laughed, and their tummies hurt in a good way. Oh, wow. That's such a great story, Timothy. I'm really glad you decided to choose that one because guess what? We can all learn a little lesson about how we control our actions because sometimes we win and sometimes we lose. But the most important thing is that we have fun. All right. So let's learn that game that you were talking about that's going to help us to take turns. I invited some of our other friends that you might recognize from another story. We have... Brown Bear, and we have Purple Cat, and we have Blue Heart, and Red Bird, and White Dog, and Black Sheep. So Timothy, they all want to play a game and they don't know who can go first. They want to play tag and the, they can't decide. So instead of fighting and throwing a temper tantrum, we're going to learn how to play eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to have Timothy sit over here and watch us. Okay. And here's what you do. If you and your friends can't decide whose turn it is, you get in a big circle and you stick your foot in, okay? And when you do that, 
you're going to tap each foot and you're going to say, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Now, whoever you land on is not it. So they get to wait until the game starts. So now you're going to do it again. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, brown bear's not it. Let's do it again. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, white dog's not it. Oh, we're going to move closer, which is always a good idea when you're playing this game. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, purple cat's not it. Two left. The Whoever is not it, the last person standing gets to be it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And look who's it for our game. Blue horse. And was that fair? Absolutely. All right. We still have one more song to do. And you know me. It's one of my favorite songs. It's called Five Little Monkeys Swinging from a Tree. But guess who they're teasing? They're teasing Timothy Tiger. So watch out because he's going to pounce. Are you ready? Five little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Tiger. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Tiger, just as sneaky as can be, and pounce! Ooh, we scared one monkey away. We got four left. Four little monkeys swinging from a tree, teasing Mr. Tiger. You can't catch me! You can't catch me! Along comes Mr. Tiger, just as sneaky as can be, and pounce! Three more. Three little monkeys swinging from a tree, Teasing Mr. Tiger, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Tiger, just as sneaky as can be, and pounce! Oh. Two monkeys left. Two little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Tiger, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Tiger, just as sneaky as can be, and pounce! One more monkey swinging from a tree, teasing Mr. Tiger. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Tiger, just as hungry as can be, and pounce. Aw, no more monkeys swinging from a tree. But I bet you instead they all decided to play a game together, right? Awesome. All right, let's practice our letter T. Flex your muscles. Ooh, show me how strong you are. Ready? Timothy Tiger, letter T says T, T, T. Awesome job, boys and girls. See you next time.